can cover myself up a little bit. Tierney Angus liked her old uniform, the one she's wearing here. Black pants and a shirt, she says, were perfect to do her job as a server at a Toronto beer market restaurant. A month ago, the company changed the uniform. This is my only option. The material is probably comparable to a bathing suit. Um, it has about as much coverage, it might even be thinner than a bathing suit. Men were asked to wear jeans, a button-down shirt, and runners. Women, a short, sleeveless dress. It's uh, very tight. It's very skimpy. I went up a size, and it still hugs every single inch of my body. Um, my boyfriend commented that he could even see my tailbone through it. Kara Operations Limited owns Beer Market and other restaurant chains, including Milestones, Montana's, Harvey's, and more. The uniform changes affected employees at beer market locations in Ontario and Quebec. The company tells Go Public restaurant staff was involved in the selection process, and the majority of feedback on the uniforms has been very positive. It eventually offered a slightly longer version of the dress. Angus says it wasn't enough. One of the girls I work with mentioned that you could see her, her underwear, uh, you could see everything underneath it. And the suggestion by my general manager was that she wear a thong if she didn't want uh, her underwear to show. After Go Public's inquiries, Kara changed its policy, giving female staff the option of wearing the same uniform as men. Employment lawyer Barbara Green. It's sad that we have to fight this battle in 2015. And perhaps, as you had pointed out earlier, the concern and what we're seeing in the widespread industry is that this issue is not local, it's not, sorry, it's not specific to the beer market. The same dress code or similar dress codes, perhaps even more sexual, perhaps even more provocative, are, being, are, are coming out all over the place. She says while skimpy uniforms may be the norm at a lot of restaurants, they could also be a violation of Ontario's human rights code. Rosa Marcatelli, CBC News, Calgary. Rosa and the team at Go Public are looking at dress code policies at other restaurants across the country. And oh my goodness, based on your tweets to me and our team this morning, you are into this story and have lots of experiences and observations. So share anything with the team. You can get in touch online at cbcnews.ca slash go public. And we welcome your tweets as well on this at CBC Morning.